this is an aquaponic setup it consists of two fish tanks each 1000 liters or each one cubic meter so here we have two cubic meters of fish rearing tanks and uh, down there we have media grow beds consisting of four beds filled with gravel and uh, that white stuff there is the air pump down here is the sump tank where the water from the media grow beds collect and inside it there is a small pump which pumps the water back to the fish tanks so it, it's the pump which recycles the water in this system and these little things at the middle of these beds are called bell siphons these dudes are used to control the water level in the media grow beds as it is necessary for water level to reach a certain level it can make contact with plant roots for supplying essential nutrients but also the water has to leave the bed for sometimes to provide oxygen or aeration for bacteria activities and uh, for plants to get oxygen so that standpipe inside there is the one which controls the water level as the water level rises to that level it starts going down going out through that hole but with the help of this bell siphon it flushes the water at higher speed than the one which enters this bed hence creating they call it ebb and flow high level for providing nutrients flushing to provide oxygen and that cell continues for 24 7 and on this media grow beds you can grow any kind of vegetable from tomatoes other vegetables like chinese cabbage beetroot any kind of vegetable okra whatever you want to grow here this one is an air pump or aerator it is used to provide aeration for this system as you can see this system allows stocking at very high densities but uh, that would not be possible without enough oxygen so we need additional oxygen to cater for the high stocking densities those small tanks at the side are filters which also need oxygen for bacterial activities to break down ammonia into nitrate which is not toxic to fish this is how the setup looks from another angle and these two small tanks here are the filters this one is the mechanical filter which helps to filter the solid particles such as uneaten feed, uh, fish, fish poops. But instead here, we will put some materials like small gravel or cloth to trap those substances. So as the water goes through this pipe, it goes clear, but actually it is still polluted with dissolved substances like ammonia and carbon dioxide. So when they enter this tank, which is called uh, by a filter this one enables biological filtration of the ammonia and the carbon dioxide into non-toxic nitrate by the aid of denitrifying bacteria those bacteria use this small plastic particles here to attach as a substrate to attach, to attach themselves so when the water goes make contact with this small plastic the bacteria acts upon the ammonia and change it into non-toxic nitrate which in turn will be used as fertilizer for the plants of the middle globals down there so basically that's how this system works inside here these tanks uh, their optimum capacity is uh, 20 kilograms of fish per tank so we have stocked 200 fingerlings in each tank and as they grow up and gain weight beyond the capacity of these tanks will start uh, removing fish to conform with the capacity of the tanks unfortunately the water is uh, moving vigorously because of the oxygen so the fish cannot be seen and they are still shy because we have put them there just yesterday thank you